hi guys hope you all well so now we are continuing from the last week video on how to order but on this one we are going to be talking about how to place an order and how to do the payment method because people still ask me what type of payment method do i use to pay on alibaba so today i'm going to be showing you how do you pay for your items and please make sure that you have already watched the first video because it's gonna show you how we arrived on this stage okay so once you have um, added everything to your card and you need to do the pay out right you're gonna check if everything that you ordered for is the way it's supposed to be and then you check the product price the shipping cost so with the shipping cost you can check other shipping services that are available to you you know that are available to you to that you can use they have fedex they have dho and they have express so now they are giving us express because it's the one that's lesser for shipping services okay and what i am seeing here is that like they also have the what is this they have the packaging sizes how much your package weighs and everything so yeah they also have that which is very very good actually so once you are ready to pay you can um come to pay with a new card so once you are on the payment fee you select the type of payment method that you want to use it's either you want to use your card where you're going to put your details or you are going to use the union payment method but i do not advise people to use this method the perfect method that you can use is to pay with your card i don't know let's try to continue and see if it's gonna allow us to do with the default payment okay so once you are uh, you chose to continue with the payment and method and everything it's going to tell you how much do you need to pay and there's also a transaction fee with alibaba so the transaction fee it's on it's 900 it's usually three percent of your total amount and then they're also going to tell you how much is one dollar in rents since we are in South Africa. And then you can also choose an option to pay with PayPal, which is good. But other companies, you'd find that they don't allow PayPal payments. So yeah, then we are going to go with the one where you pay with your card, either you're using fnb with your visa or capitec with your mastercard then we have to add the information of our card i don't know why it's already giving me a name and i'll definitely have to hide my address okay and then you can add your card number right add when your card number is expiring and you can also add your three digit security code card number right so and the other thing that you can do you can because i already have my address with alibaba i already have an address card so it's already showing here and then you have the option to select either your details should should be added to your alibaba card so the next time you are buying from alibaba you don't have to add your information all over again your information is already there and then the payment is already processed so just because we have never used the payment uh, method or we have never paid with on alibaba 
you will definitely need to select you will definitely need to add your details and then yeah but it's up to you either you want alibaba to save your card details or you don't want them to save your card details but if they save your card details it means that the next time you order again you won't have to put in all your details right so for me i just left it like that and then once you are done adding your details that's when you're gonna have the option of pay now and then you're gonna pay and then when you pay you must make sure that your card limit is okay and you must make sure that like your bank or your card allows online uh shipping online buying yeah i mean online purchase not online shipping online purchase and everything and i would advise people maybe to have different cards to use not to use your personal card but for me i've been using my personal card i've been good with alibaba no more shady stuff with them yeah and then once you do the pay now everything is going to be processed and then you'll be able to move to the next stage where you are going to wait for your shipping time and everything and once you have paid alibaba lets you know that like they have received your payment okay yeah hope this is this was helpful and you are going to like this video or enjoy more of such information in your future buying and everything so they include transaction fee it's the three percent of the current exchange it depends with your um how much money are you paying because i remember last time when i was buying earrings my pricing was really really low so i didn't have to pay that much you always pay three percent of your of your total amount so the the thingy it's more of a a whatchamacall a transaction fee I hope that makes sense. It's more of a transaction fee. You can see you can see that like you are able to make payment. You know there are steps after you have made payment. You are going to wait for your shipping, your shipment, and then after they have shipped your stuff, Alibaba is going to wait for you to receive your products, so you will be able to confirm that you have received your products and then after you have received your products you are eligible to leave this uh, company a review regarding the products after you have received them so if you, re you are reading reviews under a company's profile it shows that those people it's people who have received the products you can't buy someone to leave reviews for you it's people who have already ordered with the company and then you can also get your order number that's what you can also that's what you are also eligible to receive